Hi everyone, it's Amy. I just wanted to share with you one of the things that I do. Um, I like to go to thrift stores and find really cool books. And I found this really cool uh, Mary Englebright book. Um, has um, Basically what I did is I took out all the pages out of it and used the pages to decorate a scrapbook with. Um, buying books to use the photos out of is a great way to um, build up your supplies and your photos um, when you want to decorate with a theme. So this is the book I made using, I don't know, I say get, get it right in the way of the camera. Um, it's a good way to, you know, have decorations for your your books. So this one I just added primas and buttons to and some fibers. Um, I tried to stick with papers that reminded me of her books. So, um, anyway, I'll just get to showing you. And this one is, I think, 8 by 6 And um, so this one, I just um, made a pocket out of one of the bottoms of a page. And then, um, using pieces of the book, um, I cut out little things that you can put um, pictures on. Um, you can put pictures on both sides. Here's another tag that you can put photos on, and it has another picture on the back. Um, this one has journaling spots on those. Um, additional memories, and this one says, Our Friends Thought. And so this was just, this book is actually great because not only does it have all these little journaling places already written for the book, I could just cut them off and um, add them to this book that I made and I don't have to print it off my computer. So, and it says once you've gotten trouble for, and I list a bunch, and then there's just pattern paper on the back that you can put photos. So, um, and then I did these little, these are the flaps that I do when I'm using making the longer books. Um, this is just the bottom of the, the paper bag and I just decorated both sides. You can journal here and you can put a photo here and I just added some ribbon here. And here is one of the photos from the book. And again, I just um, made some little tags that go in it. And then um, some journaling spots and another place for a photo. And on this one, I actually did inside pockets, um, assorted thoughts, and then a place to put a photo. And then on here, you can slide a photo in underneath the lace. And um, another journaling spot. Another photo from the book. More journaling spots. And here's a sun that I thought was really pretty from the book that I cut out. And some more um, journaling. And here's the moon. And some more journaling. So that's what I did with um, cutting up an old book. Well, it wasn't old. It was in really good condition. But it was a really, really cheap book. I think I paid 99 cents for it at the thrift store. And here's the last page. Um, more journaling. Here's some little tags that I made that go inside. And here's the back. This is our family. And so it's a good way to use up books that someone may not want. Or if you find a book at the thrift store that has um, maybe some damage to the front cover or, uh, you know, just would make, have really good pictures in it. It's a good way to um, get an idea for a scrapbook.